Hey, seventh grade students, just wanted to check in and talk to you about our notebooks. We've been working on these for a couple weeks now, and we want to make sure that we're kind of all in the same place. So you are going to have a notebook check coming up soon, and the notebook rubric is going to look like this. So what's going to happen is for this first go around, you are going to, or we're going to tell you which pages we're grading. Notice this is not going to cover every single page in your notebook. For this notebook check, we're going to choose three pages to grade, and you will not know which pages ahead of time. And then we're also going to grade your table of contents this time. We won't always do that, but you never know. So you should always make sure it's updated. Now, in order to, for each page in your notebook, you can earn up to a five. If you do everything exactly as you're expected, then you will earn a four on the rubric. Okay, if you do everything exactly as expected, you'll earn a four. In order to earn that five on each page, you need to do extra, okay? You have to do extra analysis, extra critical thinking. You need to make connections to real world examples. Everything needs to be colored, even if it's not asked to be colored, okay? So if you want to get that five, you have to go above and beyond. Otherwise, you will earn the four out of five, which is an 80%. You can earn lower than that, okay? This is based on your understanding. This is not just, did I do it? Okay, so just finishing an assignment without having the answers correct isn't worth anything. You have to actually make sure that you're understanding what you're learning. So that's how notebook checks are gonna work. We're gonna do a couple of these per quarter. And again, not every page is gonna be graded. So you, you, want, you don't know ahead of time though. So you need to make sure every page is ready just in case we choose that one to grade. So I wanna walk you through my notebook. Just make sure we're all kind of at the same page. While you are watching the video, if you need to catch up on something, pause the video, work on it, and then go back to it. So the first thing that I wanna show you is my table of contents. And if your table of contents is not updated until this page, this would be a good time to maybe pause. Let's make sure, let me make sure my fingers are out of the way. Okay, so my table of contents is on page II, and it goes up to page number, 17, okay? You can also access the, the table of contents in Schoology. So the first thing I should look for in my notebook is my measurement and graphing tab. And I'm gonna open there. On this page, let me reset here. On this page, which is page number one, I should have a title page and I should have my tab glued down. The title page should say measurement and graphing. On the back of that, I should have my measuring mass in two ways. There's a front and back, and they should both be completed correctly. And then this page is only the front side. This is page number three. So if you don't have these pages glued in in this place, you need to do that right now. And you also need to make sure that they are finished and done correctly. Page number four, this was our volume lab where we made the rainbow. And again, the front and back should be completed and you should be using complete sentences for these answers. If we're giving you this much space, it's because we want you to write about it. We just don't want a one word answer. One word answers are gonna be really, really hard to give you full credit for if we grade this because I'm not gonna know enough about what you're thinking to be able to give you that four or five on that page. For this page, this is page number five and this is our length lab. Again, this one down here, this question should be a longer response and it should be as thorough as you can be. If we choose to grade that, I need to be able to understand that you know exactly what you're talking about. All right, page number six, this is going to be your measurement quiz, okay? If you took a retake, you can also put your retake on top of this page. And if you don't have this one back yet, what I want you to do is what I did. You'll put the title on the page and then you'll wait until you get it back and then you can glue it in. Then on page seven, we should have our daily journals, number one, and you should have a question for, I think there was four questions last week, so you should have four questions on your page. Our next page is this one where we did our notes. It should be color coded, okay, with our three colors. And then on the back, you should have the text and you should have all the highlighted corrections. 
this page, the front side needs to be completed. You need to have selected a response for each of these. And if you have time today, you should be doing this back side. Okay, so if you have time, you should be doing the back side. You should be coloring it in. And that goes on page nine. Let's go on to page 10. I know I'm going fast, but you can pause and rewind whenever you need to. On page 10 is our designing data tables practice. So you should have this one filled in with just independent and dependent in the top. The rest of these, you should have a data table for each of them. And on the back side as well, there should be four data tables back here. These should all be completely done and you should have the independent and dependent variables color coded. For this page, this was all about making graphs. You should have your graphs back here on that side and that's on page 11. And then going to page 12, you should have your graph and your pie chart done as well. Make sure all these little questions are answered correctly, identifying the variables. For page number 13, this was our coin lab. So you should have your data table filled in down here. And then on the back side of your coin lab, you should have made your graph and you should have answered these three questions. Yes, you should use complete sentences. Page number 14, this is where you will put your data table and graphing quiz when you get it back, okay? So once your quiz gets passed back to you, it will go on this page. Until then, on page 14, I just want you to write a title as a placeholder, okay? There you go, you can probably see it. Data table and graphing quiz, page 14. All right, so that should be the end of our measurement and graphing unit. Now I'm going to talk to you about our unit one, which we are starting today. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to make a title page for our new unit. And this is going to go on page 15, not 17, don't look at that one. Page 15 in your science notebooks. So if you look at mine, at the very top, it says unit one. That is an important part of our title page. It says the unit name, which is chemical reactions and matter. Our essential question. Our essential question says, how can we make something that wasn't there before? So you do need to have that essential question written down. And then what I did and what you need to do is you need to decorate this page with things that it reminds you of. So when I know we're talking about matter, we're talking about atoms and molecules. So you'll see that I drew some little atoms and molecules over here, down here. I have some things that I think are chemical re reactions or related to chemical reactions. So this page should be decorated. Your page does not need to look like mine, but if you want to use mine as a guideline, especially for this first time, you can. That is page 15. Now, something that we need to do is we're going to want to put on our new tab for our new unit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it so that my notebook is behind itself. That way I can see where these first two tabs are and I can figure that I want my tab to be about right there. So I'm going to go to page 15. I'm going to make it so that 16 is on the back. I'm going to do it like Pac-Man. Okay. And I'm going to put some glue on the inside of my tab. Okay. Put some glue on the inside of my tab. I'm going to stick it together and then open it just so that there's glue now on both sides. And then I'm going to line it up around page 15, using page 15 like a Pac-Man. So now on page 15, you should see the front side of your tab. And then if you were to flip it to page 16 on the back, you would see the tab on page 16, okay? That's important that you do next. Then I want you to flip to page 16. On page 16, we are going to be gluing in this, which is our unit matrix. So you're going to see one of these for each of our units. And we're going to explain it to you a little bit more in person. But basically, these are all of the things that you need to know how they work and things that you need to be able to know how to do. So right here, in the green is our title for our unit. And then you're going to see these three standards. These are the three standards that we are working off of for our unit. One, two, and three, or probably reverse. 
And then if you look at them this way, according to this standard, we broke it down for you. These are the things that you need to know and be able to do. Then for the second standard, these are the things that you need to know and be able to do. And our third one, things that you need to know and be able to do. Okay. So there's 14 main points for this unit that are going to be really important for us. And then on the side, you're going to notice there's a vocabulary list. This vocabulary list is something where you can fill in the definitions to the words that you know, and you need to just make sure that you have all these things um, in a visible place. These are things that are going to be important to focus on, important vocabulary words. If you're a person who makes flashcards, these would be good words to include in your flashcards. So I'm going to glue this down onto page 16, and I've actually done that already. And so when you glue this onto page 16, it's going to go over that other part of your tab. And then when you close your notebook, you should be able to see all three of your tabs at the same time. So I have my reference pages, my measurement graphing unit, and then my chemical reactions and matter unit right there. So we can see all three of our tabs. And so once you've glued the matrix in, you should be reviewing that and trying to figure out what it means. We'll explain it more to you later. But thanks for watching. Bye.